Well, hey y'all. Um, I know that you have seen there's a clean water challenge um, on YouTube right now. Um, I'm gonna show you my watering trough, but I'm not gonna drink out of it. <laughs> It's very clean, but, um, yeah, I just can't drink behind a chicken. <laughs> yeah, I just can't. I just can't. I can't drink after a chicken. But here, let me show you the trough. All right, I will show the water, but I, like I said, I am not going to drink out of it because the simple fact that the chickens drink out of it too. I would probably drink after a goat or Nellie had drank, but those chickens are a different story. So yeah, I'm not going to be doing that part of the challenge, but I will show my water trough. So I fill it up twice a day and um, right now I can get by with cleaning once a week. But when, you know, this time of the year, the weather gets very warm and the algae wants to grow. So I may have to do it a little more often, you know, a couple of times a week probably. But um, what I do is simply dump it out instead of putting fresh water on top of it on that watering on, on that particular day dump all the water out, and then just put a little bit of Clorox on a scrub brush, scrub it down, rinse it, and then refill it. It's just simple as that. Doesn't take long at all. And like I said, during the winter, I can get by with once a week, but during the summer months, it's a whole lot more often than that. Right now, it's gonna be probably twice. But um, as summer comes on, it's probably a lot more than that. It could be even every other day thing. But anyway, there it is. Clean water for the babies. Is Nellie really scratching her behind? She is. She's got such pretty hair on her behind because she scratches it all the time. It's okay, girl. All right, we're out here in the barn. So, Dr. D just left. He has given her some banamine, which, you know, it's kind of like ibuprofen for animals. But, um, yeah, Nellie gave us quite a scare earlier. So it turns out that Nellie just needs a man. Now, from what he told me is that um, Nellie is very, very young. He said that she's around six or seven years old and that mules, many mules or mules, either one, he, you know, um, if that's what she is, there she is. If she is a mini mule, that she can actually breed, but she can't get pregnant because they lack a chromosome. 
Nellie pretty much just needs a man. She gave me a scare because she wants a man. Um, but technically, um, he told me that her ears look like a mule, but um, she could or she could not be. So it's one of those things that we just don't know. Um, as far as her hair being missing, that it probably is just the shedding of the hair because of springtime. I think it's called springtime alopecia or something. But she has got beautiful hair on her rump where it came off a couple of weeks ago. Now she's got hair missing on her back because she rolls she rolls in that spot right there in that dark spot right there um but if you notice that hut hut is following her around so a few minutes ago her and hut hut were at the play area and <laughs> hut hut appeared to be loving it up with Nell uh, nelly um the hormones that are going on in this barn right now is just crazy because we've got Hut Hut who is hormonal 24-7. We've got Nellie who is hormonal right now and that little bit of ibuprofen that she got pretty much helped her out there. And then, of course, the nanny goats that are about to give birth are a little hormonal, so... There's just a lot of hormones raging on G&G &G farms right now, but it is really good that that's the problem. I am very relieved after watching the videos and the things that were happening with Nellie. Um, I'm very, very happy to say I will take these hormones any day than any alternative that may have been. So she is, she's fidgety, she's anxious, she's biting at her belly, she's kicking at her own belly, she's rubbing on everything. She's just very hormonal right now. And Hut Hut's not helping. Well, good morning. It is a windy, cloudy, um, cool, Monday morning, but I just heard from Dr. D about Nelly. So as you know, when he was here, he took a stool sample to check for uh, worms or, you know, whatever. But um, he had also told me to change her feed to a ration balancer and give her very little just to kind of balance out all the fiber she gets and also <clears throat> to go ahead and deworm her with ivermectin. So I had already done that. And when he texted this morning, he told me that she was very, very wormy. Now, you know, I had already dewormed the goats and now I had already dewormed her, but um, he wants me to collect another sample in 10 days, and let's just make sure that all is well with Nellie. So, Nellie the next day was perfect. She was back to her normal self. She just gave me quite a scare because she was doing something really weird with her jaws popping, but um, I guess that's her little quirk, but I can tell you this. When I dewormed her with the ivermectin, she took it very easily from me. And ever since, she was not feeling well the other night. And I spent hours with her in that stall. I mean, I did not leave her side. But she lets me come up to her in the pasture and put my hands on her and pet her and love her. Y'all, this is such a big breakthrough for sweet Nellie. I just cannot um, say enough about, you know, everything that took place. She gave me a scare, and I think she realized 
at that moment how much I truly loved her. Now, she needed to be vet checked anyway, so it was perfect timing, and Dr. D is coming back to give her some vaccinations and another a stool sample, of course, but I just kind of wanted to update you this morning and let you know that Nellie is doing perfect now. I know that she gave us a scare. Um, I did not know the signs of what was going on, but even Dr. D said that she was not acting normal. So, could it have been a mixture of the heat cycle and being so wormy in her belly? Yeah. I'm sure it could. As a nurse, I've seen some weird things take place when patients, when humans, had two different things going on. Regardless, though, Nellie is perfect today. I just went out and refreshed the stall, refreshed the hay, fed the balancer, and she is living life and loving life today. So, with that being said, Y'all, don't forget to farm on.